Hi, and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence, and today we're going to take a look at NECA's, Disney's, Gargoyles, Putson. To say that I've been searching for this figure at all these Walmarts when they popped up in Ohio is an understatement. One of my toy stores finally got it, Sergeant Red, so I picked it up. We're going to take a look at it. We're going to open this thing up, and we're going to review it because I don't like keeping toys in plastic. They don't want to be there. I mean, they're already plastic. So anyway, before we get started, you know the drill. Take a second, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and hit the bell notification so you're notified anytime I do one of these videos, especially the gargoyles, because we know there's a lot of gargoyles coming out. So anyway, once again, NECA artwork is absolutely wonderful. Imagine if this was Hasbro, this is what the plastic free packaging would look like, but NECA lets us open it up and you can actually see that figure and you can see he's got a second head, he's got a big old sword, and he's got big old wings and we know they do there. So, there's a picture of the figure. This is Hudson. On the side there you have his angry face. And on the back you have all the different poses that NECA does and I've said this before. Not to put down any other toy photographer, but NECA has honestly some of the best toy photographers ever. Uh, you know, there you have, there he is with Bronx just petting the dog. And here you see all the figures that are coming out. So we got the majority of them. But we're going to be looking for this little guy. We're looking for this little guy. This little guy. And anyway, let's stop looking at me. Let's open this up and we'll take a look at it. And then you can decide if you want to expand your wings into a big world of gargoyles. All right, so he is out of the package. And let me just say, he does have a good amount of stuff. He runs anywhere from $35 to $40. I think these are really good prices for, the, for how much plastic you're getting. Now, right on the bottom, you can see they have pegs, but you can also see their feet are huge. If you need some sort of stand... I guarantee you the weight of these and the size of these is going to topple over that stand. So anyway, quickly, I'm going to take a look at him. Let's look at everything that he comes with. And here we have the giant wings. Again, this has been a complaint of a lot of the collectors of how big the wings are. We've already seen Goliath have the folding wings. I believe Demona is going to get the folding wings with Lexington. So... I like it if you pose them behind each other. It really doesn't cause too much of an issue. You're already going to use a lot of space because of how big the actual figure is. He does come with a bunch of hands. So here we have a couple of clawing hands. He has a kind of an open, an open fighting hand or a swapping hand. Who knows what that is? And then he has one hand. Two different hands to hold his sword and the reason for it is they pivot back and forth like this or you got up and down so this is the reason why they give you two different hands that are essentially the same and what he's actually holding here is his what he's holding what he has on are his two fist hands i guarantee you i will be changing those out and here we have his sword. It's got some wonderful paint apps on it. We got this brown handle. Got some gray over here. Then obviously you have the gold around it. You can see where they actually put time into this thing. Put some paint apps through it. It looks like it's beat up. That's what I like about it. Is it actually looks like it has been in battle. So here's his tail. He doesn't have a bending wire. If anything, this thing just kind of helps it stay up. And there's a peg there. And we're just going to pop this thing in. I didn't have too many issues before. There we go. And it does kind of actuate up and down. You can see it's kind of on a hinge. Probably have to heat it up a little bit to get it to move, but... The truth is you're going to use this as the tripod because of how big they are, especially with their wings. All right, so we'll quickly look at the articulation that he has. So it looks like he has single-jointed knees, but they are pinless. 
does not have pinless ankles, but they do move back and forth. And they're going to pivot his knees. They pivot at the knee. No thigh swivel. Be kind of hard by the look of this. Again, I haven't heated this figure up at all. They do pivot at the toes. Again, ankle rocks. All right. And then you have the waist that swivels back and forth. Kind of weird because he's a big fat guy, but I'll tell you what, you can't see the brakes in any of it. It kind of looks like that's how it's supposed to be. So I don't have a problem with that. I think it looks really nice. There is no head movement, at least not with his head, and I'm going to assume the other head is the same. So the head technically does pivot back and forth, but due to all the hair and the giant beard, there's only so much that you can do. You have your shoulders. I almost get a T-pose. Oh, I forgot to do the Jean-Claude Van Damme. He gets a decent one. Again, this guy has a lot of plastic and a lot of spaces. Wrists move back and forth. In, out. Let's see here. It's a nice bend. Not pinless. Eventually, NECA will get there. But again, I'm not overly concerned about the pinless joints. But it would be nice if they started doing it. But here it is. I have not heated this figure up at all. I like the way that it looks. I think it looks really good the way it's bent. It actually looks really, really nice. So, before we look at the head and everything, there's where the wings go. And quickly looking at the paint apps, and honestly, oops, sorry about that. Hail hit it. NECA has had a lot of quality issues, but I'm telling you, I'm looking at this figure. And so far, I'm not seeing anything. So he's got some gold clasps here to hold up his uh, his suspenders. <laughs> um, his outfit here. So his clasps here. Nice gold. Doesn't look like paint's running anywhere. Nice detail over the shoulders. He's got a nice texture. Nice wash to him. We can get the head later. Again, down here. It looks really nice. It's really nice and worn. Got the belt buckle. Doesn't look to be any sloppy paint. On the side here will be for the sword. So you can store the sword on him. But he's one guy that doesn't have anything else to carry. And then you look at his legs. Which obviously has, you can see the stitching for the pants that he's wearing. And then it goes down into not boots, but just kind of covers over his shins. Again, nice, nice paintwork on this. Like, really, this paintwork is really nice. I am very impressed with how this guy looks. This guy is giving us, and his colors are very, you kind of look at him and say kind of bland, but he looks really nice. So I'm going to pop the head off here because I think it's going to be difficult to review with it on there. So. Looking here, you can see the beard. It's got some nice color through it, some nice texture. Clearly is nice and gray. The ears stick out. I mean, so when you look at him, you can clearly see he has the eye issue. But this eye looks really nice. Then he has the teeth that are sticking up. He's got kind of like this snarl on him. You can see the lines through his forehead. I mean, this looks really really nice and then here we can look at the angry he's mad his eyes are white looking at the paint apps that looks really nice no issues you got the tongue that's sticking out with some texture again he's got the mark through his forehead all the way around nice texture nice color I really, really, really do enjoy the way this looks. So, just the two heads side by side. Clearly, this is going to be the more just hanging out with my gargoyles. He's angry. He's grumpy. He's the old man. And this is when you've pissed him off. This is when Bronx has shit on the floor. And Goliath has not picked it up. And he's just let it sit there. 
So let's throw the angry hand head on him. And again, you can almost just kind of pop this on it, considering you can't really do too much with it. Sure, it's technically made to move around, but with that hair, you can't really do too much. So there he popped it on. Let's pop off hands. Hands come off real nice and easy here. Put the sword fighting hand on. I'm going to get rid of this hand. I'm going to have a nice open hand like he's about to smash someone. Now let's get to the wings. So look at that. Nice detail. You got holes in it. You can tell this guy has been through a lot. Okay, and whether or not this is broken as he's been a gargoyle, you know, as stone. Or during fights, it's hard to tell, but that's, I believe that's what it's made to look like. And here you have, obviously, the supports and the paint that goes through it. It looks real nice, and then you have this nice color, texture to it. It's two-toned, so everything here looks really nice. And then you look at this one, and it's different. It's not like they just made two of the exact same ones. So it shows that they are putting some time and effort into this. now. In the past, there are some issues with the wings staying up. I'm not sure if they're gonna, if that's been corrected yet. Because let's be honest, these wings are big. Look at that. But what's nice is he has big feet, so you can kind of play with it. Get that. Technically, we can move them around. And these ones actually seem to be. Staying in place a little bit better, but I think if you move them too much, it's going to cause a problem. Now let's throw the sword in his hand. And there you go. Look at him. I absolutely love these gargoyle figures. Point the sword on this one. Bring it up. Oh, it looks really nice. I am very happy with this purchase. That is for sure, but I, I he looks really good looking through the uh, the phone here as I'm doing the video, but seeing him in person, he's really stunning. Really stunning. I think possibly the stunningest of them all, other than possibly Bronx, who's just always one of my favorites. So let's finish this. We'll wrap it up. Here's a sword. It says a sword can go right here. On his side, did I break that? Nope, it just popped off. So this did pop off. But as you can see, maybe you can't see because it's super dark. There's a hole. This thing just pops right back in. So unlike some other companies that charge $55 a figure, I won't mention any names. You can probably put that one, figure that one out. If it pops off, it just goes right back in. Matter of fact, I think it's supposed to do that. So you can get it all the way. So. Let's wrap this up. All right, so there you have it. That's the Hudson review. I love these figures. I I just had a fascination with gargoyles when I was younger. Gargoyles, sure, not gargoyles in general. I don't even remember very much of it, other than that I liked it. And when I started rewatching, I was like, wow, I don't even remember much of this. I can't wait for like Xanatos. I kind of forgot to mention the wings do actuate up this way so you can kind of make it look like he's flying or if you just want to kind of get them out of the way i kind of move mine around at times i'll tell you what these ones do seem to be a little bit tighter when moving they kind of want to ratchet but the face sculpt and that looks absolutely un oh, wonderful i don't know wonderful i think it looks wonderful Ugh. I do like this one. It's, it, it's there's so much personality. I think they did. I, NECA one. I mean, oops, their sculpts are wonderful. I know there's been a lot of issues with the quality control again. NECA is not. They're not toys, as in they're meant to be played with. All right, they are collectors' items that are toys, but they give you the articulation that we really do want. That looks like it jumped off the screen to me. 
it's going to fit in perfect with the other ones. It's not like I see the Goliath and I go, that thing looks out of, out, you know, out of date. It, it looks wonderful. And all of them so far, I have to start figuring out what I'm going to do with my display because they do take up a lot of space. And if you want to have a pose, I like having my stuff look like they're fighting, like they're actually in some sort of uh, display. And display, some sort of diorama. So I could just pose them and have them all where you see them. It's not what I really do. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here. If you're able to, Meyer, not Meyer. Let me know you know what Meyer is. Walmart has a whole bunch of these somewhere, all right? I'm in Michigan. If I go there right now and they scan the code, they will say, oh, it says we have three in stock. Well, they've had three in stock for like three months since that whole issue in Ohio where they started popping up like crazy. Uh, one one place here in Michigan has six. The other one has three. The other one has three over there, but they're not out there. We got a lot of Goliaths, but no Hudson. So if you're able to find it, I think it's about $35. This one ran me around $40 because independent toy store, you can pay a little bit more. You know what? They can't compete with the big guys like Target and you know Walmart. So decide where you want to get it. Whatever you're going to want this figure, especially if you're a Gargoyles fan or a NECA fan, whatever you are. So anyways, I'm going to get out of here. You know the grill. You know the drill. The grill. The grill. I didn't even grill today. You know the drill. The social medias. A Punk with Toys on Instagram and Twitter. The Facebook group page is Punks with Toys. Because like I said, once you join, you're a Punk with Toys. And you know what? Hit that subscribe button. Please hit that subscribe button. I'm this close to 1,000. And by the time you watch this, I may be at 1,000. Who knows? But hit that like button and hit that bell notification. Listen, I've watched so much stuff on YouTube. Hitting the likes and just hitting, like watching the view pass like 30 seconds. There's so much for the analytics when it comes to YouTube. Their algorithm is absolutely crazy. So I'm going to get out of here. You know the drill. Have a wonderful day and happy toy hunting.